What up guys, Retro Django here. What day is it today? It's a new pinball day. This time it's from Spooky Pinball. It's Evil Dead 1 and 2. Let's just take a look at this trailer. It just came out a few minutes ago. This is my first time watching this trailer. And I must say, before we start this, before we start this, the thing I have been looking most forward to with this game release, it's not the... It's actually not shots and layout, it's not the audio, it's not the art, it's nothing like that. The thing I have been looking most forward to with this release is Zach Mini's release video. Because that release video he made with Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it was mind-blowing. So I have been really looking forward to this for months. I have, oh my god, what Zach's gonna put together. Because... Forget about Zach selling pinball machines. That guy, I have been selling this. I have been saying this to this guy. Forget that. Go into Hollywood, edit movies. No one in the pinball industry can edit movie video clips like Zach. He, sh he could earn 10 times more what he does every year, man. So, what did happen? Spooky Pinball, as an amateur company, started shipping out these videos or pictures or whatever to different media creators and everything got leaked and and i got these low res pictures why spooky why and it, it just, it just, everything got ruined for me why this amateur stuff i mean you have been doing this for 10 years now keep it secret do it like stern design your games don't send it out. Don't send no videos, no pictures out to content creators. We don't care about, I have seen everything by all means. We don't care. That doesn't help anything. Do it like Stern. Okay. Keep it to yourself. When you're ready, when games are ship, ready to ship in packages, then release this game. Now, I have seen everything. It just irritates me. But let's see what Zach has done, man. Let me ask you something. Do you believe in the existence of evil? <laughs> First of all, if I did this, I would have included VHS tapes, Evil Dead 1 and 2. Th this game will be sold as collector's edition and <laughs> I think everybody should get a copy of this movie. Also on DVD. I don't know. Just make it and ship it out to, to the market. Shoot some ramps so we can get on with it. The only guarantees in life are death and taxes, and I don't pay taxes, so it's just death. Get this thing loaded, Daddy wants to play. I've already seen that double barrel shotgun, I have seen the underplay, I have seen everything, it just freaking irritates me, man. I want my first reaction to be genuine. Guns loaded. Wish I was. <laughs> Son of a... How about a double-barrel breakfast, huh? Mmm! Gotcha, didn't I, you little sucker? I love Bruce Campbell. I love Bruce Campbell. Ah, this is probably gonna stain. Hmm, I'd have to soak that. Ready? Aim. Groovy. <laughs> F*** him up! Yeah. You bash that big ugly bitch. Look, dead eye. Doesn't matter. Whatever you call it. Bash it. For God's sake, what happened to our eyes? Well, pretty sure I'm the favorite kid now. Look, I've been locked down there before. It ain't exactly Mardi Gras. Let's see, us versus two dead assholes in a book. I like these odds. Even now, we have our darling fingers. Oh. Please, Ash, please don't hurt me. <laughs> Breakups are never easy. Cabin lock is lit. I wouldn't go in there, but, you know, knock yourself out. Oh, nice. Dar his hiker dans de rosa. Ganda. Shut it off. Ganda. Shut it off. Ganda. Shut it off! 
Well, that's over with. How about you and I get a little drinky drink, huh? Nick, 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 Nick. Kind of kind of. All right, let's let's go ahead and dissect this game. Okay, first let's start with Christopher Franchi that works with Stern now. The artwork you just feel Evil Dead One and Two everywhere. This guy knows what he's doing. I am in love with the artwork. That's ten out of ten. The thing that I love the most, you won't believe this, uh, there, there are so many details, but the thing that I love most, look at those sides. That's the wall, um, the inner art place. That's it's the walls of that cabin in the wood house thing. Details like that where I can recognize here at the background. It's just so well done. Christopher Franchi, 10 out of 10, buddy. Beautiful done. So at that front <laughs> i think i think if you ask me the mod community instead of this little fire button up there there should be a you know handle of a double barrel shotgun or i actually thought that there will be a a, a chainsaw there <laughs> as to to fire off the ball <laughs> look at that topper it's i mean look at the details it's so creepy it's so spooky and people that loves this these movies they will freak out freak out right now when they see this so this is the overlay of the play field let's just take a quick look starting with the apron look at the details with those spinning cassettes there or what it is beautifully done we have got an an, an under play field and under play field on every game sucks they shouldn't have done that but it's there it has got one little flipper down there you can loop the ball and shoot these um targets yeah hey, let me so if we dissect this one um as i can see here we have shots to all these drop down targets a lot of drop down targets like six or something we love drop down targets okay other than that we have got this narrow orbit shot we have got this stinky post right there metal post and I have said, I have criticized Spooky for using too many posts. So they have listened. And I love Spooky for listening. Uh, we have got a beautifully set up ram shot. This is going to be a very easy ram shot. We have double barrel shotguns over here. <laughs> when, you, when you hit him, you will push, push it in. It's so cool. It looks like a flipper there. But uh, yeah, we have got a spinner shot. Well middle shots on every play field is the most important shot it's the castle in medieval madness it's the destroying building in godzilla middle shot is so important right so we will hit the spinner very very cool place there is this the book this looks like the book so cool and other than that we have got this captive ball lame um we have got a shot in here we have got a shot down there look at this we have got instead of a post we have got a stand up target thank you spooky stand up target stand up target beautifully done absolutely beautifully done as you can see another ram shot and this one is a flap that opens again so many details and we have got an orbit shot over here so shots on layout beautifully done absolutely i'm i'm in love with it this is going to be a very very fun game to shoot and you can just you can just feel it Let me ask you something do you believe look at those double barrel shotguns there <laughs> it's so well done man oh my god cabin in the woods that building up there wow details look at the car up here on top of the ramp looks so awesome man even the existence I, lo I love this book the necromon now, now for me evil dead one and two i haven't watched the whole movies i have watched them in small clips when they were on tv i was like seven years old or something didn't hit did, didn't get me maybe if i watch it from start to end maybe i will change my opinion i haven't watched them but when the third one um what's it called? army of darkness when that one came out i watched it with my best friend and we just fell in love with the movie i think it was back in 1992 army of 
The Dead or Army of Darkness. Ash, Bruce Campbell. I I love this guy. And he's he he's um he has uh, call outs in this game. It's illegal. So cool. As you can see, Evil Dead 1 and Evil Shoot Dead 2. Ramps, so can... Wow. So left ramp goes up, wire form, powder coated, blue wire form, beautifully executed. The hand that got chopped up off to the left side, beautifully executed. Again, this orbit shot looks pretty narrow, but uh, looks cool. Very, very nice laid out. Uh, under the ramp, we have pop bumpers also that's cool oh we have these skeletons <laughs> that's from the movie cover we have no dumb stuff that feeds the ball before the flippers like on other spooky games that shit is removed and that's a great welcome so this look at this this is perfect groovy flipper so we have got a hidden flipper <laughs> so cool the humor is there. Hail to the king, baby. Come get some. Oh, I'm loving this. Only guarantees in life. Oh, this middle shot goes around here and to the ramp. Beautifully executed. Uh, this Necron Monikan, uh, they should remove that lower play field and put that book there instead. It's so cool. And you could hit something and it could turn the pages or something. I love that book, man. Death and Everything is written in, with, with blood. I remember that. It's so cheesy. It's so campy. It's so awesome. And I don't pay taxes. Wow, man. I'm going to talk about that, that little cabin over there no, also in a second, guys. Death. Look at this. Shell loaded. We have a gun in here. Oh. Get this thing loaded. Daddy <laughs> wants to play. It's so cool. And this hand that moves to the sides, really, really well done. Look at the details. Have you seen? Okay, we have seen these uh, double shooters there. People are saying this is all new, blah, blah, blah. But 99% the same on a game from 1993 called Twilight Zone. They, they have got two barrels there also. It has got a flap that opens there also. But they shoot and come into the play field different ways than this. So, Guns yeah, loaded. inspired Wish from I Twilight was. Zone. I like it. I like it. <laughs> and I love Bruce, <laughs> with, uh, Bruce, Bruce Campbell. <laughs> you can see here. Uh, let's go back a second there. As you can see, it. <laughs> so you launch two balls in uh, two balls at one. Oh, after that um, orbit shot, we have got a scoop over here. Oh, my God. What if that scoop is just like on um, hard to shoot? Just like on. Oh, and a post there. Oh no, that's a drainer. That's a drainer area. Breakfast, huh? Mmm. Gotcha. Call outs. Call outs from the man. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> a lot of blood, a lot of gore, but uh, yeah, it is what it is, guys. A lot of movie clips, of course. Oh my god, when he puts in the chainsaw there. My boomstick. Ready? Oh, that's the um, that's the hidden flipper there. Very, very nice done. Nice. Aim. Groovy. Shoot. <laughs> Come up. Okay. <laughs> so I don't think you have to shoot the ball all the way out there, but very, very cool done, man. Again, so many great details. I'm loving this. As you can see, you will get these three uh, targets that pops up and you will die just like she does in the movie. So the, the integration is just... It's amazing. Well, so sure. let's remove the audio completely here. There we go. Spooky. <laughs> so this game is a white body game. It doesn't feel like a white body. I love that detail. Look at that topper. Love all the details. Look at all the sh all the shots and layout. That's one thing. But how beautiful it is. How well executed it is. How well the theme integration is just 
hood in there with that head on the servo that 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 turns the cabin in the woods you go up and lock the balls up there physical locks another server that that yeah, goes back and forth some people are crying about servers going down but they cost nothing okay you can just replace them it's simple stuff i love all the moving stuff on the play field so servers are welcome for me okay i love it but they have to interact with the ball and this game a lot of, has a lot, a lot of interaction with the ball uh, pinballs when you shoot with the double barrel there i love they have copied uh, almost down to the location of the trolls that pops up people loves them they pop up you can bash it a popper in the middle the seller pop up again comes up with three uh, stand-up targets you can bash them really really cool details shots and layout looks very fun I mean very very fun Look at a game like, look, t t for example, take a game like um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Love the theme, right? Great theme. Half of the play field ha has got ramps that starts from there and goes to the right. That means you can really not hit the right side of the play field. You have to use your upper left flipper to go up there. So the playfield is just blocked and people doesn't like that this turtles didn't sell that many games it's not that popular and it's all from stern's page already so having an open playfield design like this is beautiful having only two rubber stand-ups that can can make some uh, unhappy draining shots uh, is beautiful instead of 18 <laughs> Stand up targets, awesome. Drop down targets, awesome. Ram shots, awesome. Ram flap that goes up and down, awesome. Physical ball locks, awesome. Spinner, awesome. Full R color RGB, awesome. Some said these people that thinks they know everything. This game has got an upper play field. It's it's not an upper play field. Okay, it's just a physical ball lock area. So I'm just so tired of this guessing game stuff but that cabin it looks beautiful it's well executed it's put up there and it just works they did this with their previous game with the looney tunes and texas chainsaw where they had the physical ball lock up to the left it just works is a feel good locking mechanism up there pure awesomeness it has got orbit shots please always include orbit shots i love them as i can see this game has got one spinner up there i would love this game to have a spinner uh, at the left orbit also that that's yeah that's beautiful at the left side when we're looking at this trailer you can see that uh, in a second um nice that we have crammed in some um some um pop bombers <laughs> back at the upper left area beautiful stuff but it has got a, a magnet also that grabs the ball let's just take a look in a second guys oh ramp <laughs> ramps everywhere it's it's so cool okay uh this little flap i thought that it was a flipper but it's not but it looks like it right <laughs> real nice time wow man let's get a bit audio again let me see yeah six drop downs and we have got this looks like a target <laughs> Your awesomeness. wish i was <laughs> this is just as you know a, a comical humorous action the horror mm. splatter movie <laughs> bang mm. gotcha didn't I, you little it's just the worst kept secret this i mean everybody knew about this it's I think I hope this is the last oh, time this happens. Hmm. Keep it shut, spooky. Keep it I just so to yourself. And how lucky are there are these guys to be able to work with Bruce Campbell? Oh my God, so cool. This guy is legendary. Okay, they made these movies when they were young kids. His friend, what what was his name? 
Sam Raimi or something. They made these low budget movies and they're just a cult status today. It's so Name. cool. Groovy. Groovy. F them up. <laughs> wow. Everything is wow. Congratulations, Spooky. I really mean it. I mean, you have this this is absolutely the best shots and layout you have ever presented to us theme integration is top notch and i have nothing against it has got a plastic up there nothing against it everything doesn't need to have molded molded stuff it takes money from the bill of material i want stuff that interacts with the ball that's 10 times more important for me than molded stuff i mean that Alice from Chocolate Factory. Yay, it has got a lot of molded stuff. Who the F cares? For God's sake, what happened? What happened? Well, I'm pretty sure <laughs> I'm the favorite kid now. Look at that. Not even, not even just three stand-up targets that goes up and down, but it opens up and you shoot there, and I think that's the way you will feed the ball down to the uh, underplay field. <laughs> Here you can see the underpoint field. Necrom Necromonicon. Okay. You have to say Clakta Raptu to take the book. I've been locked down there before. Oh, it's so cool, man. Look at those trolls that pops up. People love these bass choice. More bass choice. More interactivity with the ball. Very, very well done, Spooky. Look at this. A magnet that stops the ball there. More magnets that interacts with the ball. More magnets. I love magnets. Look at that. And it feeds the ball up. And it pops up. Totally data east mode. Pops up and goes down to the left side, I think. Yeah. Yeah. There we saw the um, scoop shot. Beautiful stuff. There we go, scoop to the left. And it has got one, you can see this this pin that goes up there. Guys, I love you. We have the uh, We Are Pinball Facebook group and we have Messenger in there and the messages are just, come on in there and look at, there's more interactivity than any other Facebook groups, man. We Are Pinball, come on in and join. And go into the messengers, messenger side we have got. Man, those pop bombers, L look at that face down there <laughs> cabin lock is lit so wow in there. look but, at you know, this knock yourself out done his hiker down the road gone down shut it off gone down come on <laughs> small details like this it's shut it it's off. so cool gone. i mean look at the physical ball lock there why is this book so little represented? Again, I know the third movie in this series, so I don't know if it's very small part in Evil Dead 1 and 2, but on the third one, uh, yeah. Y guys, you should make you should make the third one. I'm serious. Big the big castle. Oh my god, I have so many ideas. You could really geek that out also. But Duh. this well done. This is going to sell like crazy. I mean, with this move, again, Spooky is saying it's possible to have this little company put so much into a pinball machine and still be able to sell it for under $10,000. That's how I will end this video. Congratulations, Spooky. You did it again. I'm in love with this. Have a great day out there, everybody. Bye. Shut it off.